So do they see a light blinking, or what's happening? Yeah, there's like a Jedi Padawan or something there who's working in, and he's already like talked with the gambler to set up the link, so you can just go ahead and talk. Is everyone there? Yes, uh, yes, we're here. What in the world did you do? <laughs> okay, so, uh, when we arrived, Ramai informed us that the data chip was missing. So, we started searching for Vessel, and it had been only missing for a short while, and there was nothing on the security tapes or his safe that suggested that there was Force Entry. Um, so some very skilled Sith spy probably infiltrated the, um, their camp, um, their base of operations. So we found, we caught a ship attempting to leave orbit. And so we engaged it. And as we were trying to stop it from leaving hyperspace, a cruiser jumped out of hyperspace. Uh, we managed to destroy the ship before it could make it back to the cruiser. Um, it sent a bunch of fighters after us and tried to capture us. Um, so we stopped them from getting the data chip. Um, Lex, are you sitting down? No. You probably should be. I don't like the sound of that. No, you shouldn't. What happened? Done. So we were fleeing back down to the planet surrounded by Sunguard escorts, and we were hailed. Um, Darth Krufe and his crew have Soren and Riss captive. Um, they weren't on the cruiser that was chasing us. It was a patch in, but um, they basically told us, I don't think they knew that we were the only two on board, but they told us to turn ourselves in or they would kill them. Um, so with the help of the spirits, we faked an engine failure and crashed on the planet and got them to go into the atmosphere where the spirits can actually use their very formidable powers. And they basically made the ship completely disappear. Um, and I checked, I, I searched for um, Soren and Riss through the forest and they're both still, they're still alive. Um, Fortunately, as a means of attempted intimidation, um, Soren's left arm was cut off. Um, and now the ship is in pretty much inoperable at the moment. And we're stuck here. Uh, Ramaya is sending air speeders out to get us. Derek has a broken elbow. Um, but we're going to be... here in the distance. What? He's not sending parts? Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to fix it that fast because... Where are they? I don't know. I'm going to find them. That's not good enough. Is there any way for it to be a, for you to avoid this? For us to avoid what? Did they give you an option to keep them unharmed? I was having a discussion with him to try and buy us time to pull out the engine maneuver. And they just kind of did it without any warning whatsoever. It was um, it was almost I right when we, be, when we began leave. discussing. Are you on the planet now? Yeah, we're, we're on the planet. I look at Kalani. Is there any way you could get a ship to get us to New Thanai? Gareth! Um. Yeah, given the, the circumstances with the war, you don't know, so you'd have to check. I would have to look into it. Yeah, if Ramai has a ship that he can lend us just to get back to you guys, we could probably get back faster that way. But that might not be possible. Oh no. No, you're not leaving that planet until you find my family or I do. They're not 
I didn't on care. the planet. I didn't the care spirits don't want us to be here either. <laughs> You're saying these things as though you think I care. All right, if you want to be completely I vanished would. from all of existence, feel free to come onto the planet after we leave. But we're not staying here. Uh, oh boy. Uh, Lad, is, you better figure gone? something out. Yeah, she left the room. Uh, she's heading, probably going to be trying to head towards uh, Thela as, as soon as she can. That's not a good idea. We should come to you instead. The spirits, very graciously, given the circumstances, allowed us to land it. I don't think we can push our welcome here anymore. Um, as it is, they're drained and not exactly pleased with us at the moment can you someone please talk to her and tell we did the best that we could in the situation like we bought us time to try and find her family they're not dead they're still alive and none of us are captured so that you actually know what's happening so right now we have the advantage because there's no way the sith actually know what happened to their cruiser and so if we stay on top of this and we can find them we might be able to do something about it before they just become another tool for the Sith to try and blackmail us. You realize that uh, they're in the clutches of the Sith, and there are still tools to be used. Yes, I am, I am very aware of that. But if we can catch them on surprise, we might pull them out a rescue mission instead of a swap. And that seems like a lot better odds to me. I'm not sure what to think here, Del. Uh, what, would you rather we have we have uh, been captured and then you guys would have no idea where we were or what was going on? And, uh, and would, you, would you prefer that? There's no way they would have released them if just me and Picaz and Dirk had been captured. They would have held them over. And there's no guarantee that even if we had surrendered ourselves, that they wouldn't just kill them after they had us. They're Sith. It's not like they're going to be like, oh, you agreed with us. So that is just not what was a good idea. And like I said, we we bought us some time, so we're going to have to figure out what to do after this. All right. Keep me updated on your status. Uh, I'll see what I can't do to try to... direct the rage that uh, Lexa is feeling but truth be told lad I'd almost join her yes because this this uh, this one is totally on me yeah I'm, I'm the one who wait oh wait that's right I'm the one who said that being with her family was a bad idea <sighs> sorry that was that was uncalled for I'm just Slightly razzled at this point in time. Again, thank you for uh, letting us know. Keep us updated. Will do. May the force be with you. Alan's already out the door. And with you. Uh, yeah, your master turns to you, Kalani, and says, Perhaps you also should go be with your friend. The fear of loss can be a path to the dark side. Yes, I... Oh, boy. I guess I'll follow them out, grumbling under my breath about never being able to catch a break.
So, Alexa, where do you head to look for a ship? The only thing I can think of is the starport and looking for every ship that was, that's docked, like a charter or something, every single ship that's docked here. Okay, so you don't like ask the Jedi if they have a spare ship to give you, you just want to see like if there's any visitors at the temple. You mean like the starport of the Jedi temple or do you want to like go to the capital city and look at the starport there? I'm not thinking that far ahead. I'm only thinking about what's here at the temple. Okay, so you head to the starport of the Jedi temple. Oh, your luck is in. There's a, uh, yeah, there's one other ship there docked. Can I get some details about it? Yeah, it's like a pretty bulky, like basically a cargo freighter. And it was, it's been there, now Now that you see it, you, you remember that it's been there since you've, it was there when you landed. Can I see what docking port it's in? What was that question? Can I see what docking port it's in? Yeah. It's basically in just like one of the the side docking bays. It's like it's a pretty big ship, so it's in like one of the larger docking bays. Like since there's available space, it's the one closest to the temple entrance. Okay, then I go there. I go to it in search of the captain. Okay. I wonder how that works. Do you just like go up to a ship and like knock on the hull? <laughs> if I have to, that's exactly what Lexa will do. Okay. Jump around on the roofs in the port, anything to get their attention. Okay, yeah, so you like bang on the hull and then a um a copper colored um like protocol droid opens the opens the hatch. Hello, how may I assist you? I'm looking for your captain. Ah, yes. Captain Marcus is currently meeting with the Jedi. Do you know when he'll be back? She should be back within the hour. Would it be alright if I waited here then for her? Here as in outside the ship or inside the ship? Whichever your master would prefer. What is the nature of your business? Do you have a business inquiry or a personal matter to discuss? I need transportation to the uh, it, like Its photoreceptor is just like, like flash and just like stares at you for several seconds. <laughs> it says, Yes, I think that you should wait here until Master returns. Then you can discuss. Very well. Thank you. Okay, so you stand there for an hour, so if anyone wants to try to find you, I guess they can do that. Yeah, Elon had been trying to catch up to her for however long it was since she left the uh, comms room. Okay, I, I mean, I'd say it's that you probably find her unless she's trying to be hidden. We'll leave that up to Dariana. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Lass, are you wanting to... Uh... Go Sith hunting, or is this a uh, situation of 
we're gonna kill everybody responsible. What do you know about the spirits? Other than the fact, uh, other than the fact that they are very powerful, and if they say something, then it's best not to do it. Um, I've only experienced them once, but I was in the middle of their ruins for me to even know anything about them. Are they light side, dark side? Do they care at all about anything? Uh, they do care about protecting their home. Um, I don't know if I could qualify, or if I'm qualified to say that they're light or dark or whatever, but I do get the feeling they are good. And hopefully my purity of spirit will be enough. If what Della's saying is true, and that they somehow blinked them away, then I intend to march over to them and demand where my family is. And that's all I'm thinking at this point. After that, if there are Sith around, well, there'll be a few less arms on each of them. I would advise that you do be careful about stuff, uh, but uh, if you're wanting to hunt your family, if the Sith have them, I'll help you. <laughs> That's one person. Say that again. That would make one of you. It's like he doesn't even understand. I didn't even want to be here. I don't even want to be part of this whole thing. Now my family is in danger because reasons. Because I just happened to be caught up in this ridiculous mission. Alan just puts his hand on your shoulder. You know, I was actually starting to like him. Del, I was trying to think maybe, maybe he cared about other, someone other than himself or <laughs> the larger galaxy, as you could put it. But... I'm not saying he knew that my family was aboard that ship, but if had never left. They would have had no reason to threaten them. Yes, I realize they had my family before they ever got there, but then I would have been there when they threatened them. I would have been there, I could have stopped us. I would suggest you not focus on the ifs, last. We just focus on what we can do. We'll find them. And if we don't find them, we'll make whoever's responsible pay. I fully intend to. You know, I've, I haven't killed anyone since that day, my father. But that might be time to change that policy. She just sits there and kind of just shakes angrily and twitches. When it comes to family loss, there's only one thing to do. Either hold them tight and protect them, or you make sure whoever decided to hurt them pays. Don't worry, I'm here for you. Anyway, that Elon will uh, take a spot like right beside you, right beside Lexa, and just kind of lean up against the wall, close his eyes, and just focus.
Besides, I've already had enough of these Sith. Starting to understand John's hatred for them. It definitely puts it into light. I think Lex is just going to sit there and stew until the captain arrives. <laughs> Okay, Kalani, do you want to try to find them? Yes. Okay, so you find them too. Alexa? She looks up but doesn't say anything. Uh, what exactly is the situation? Yeah, where were you guys sitting somewhere or just standing? Like yeah, leaning, up, leaning up yeah. against the ship. Yeah, uh, Lexa just looked up at you. Uh, Elon is still leaning with his eyes closed up against the ship. Just almost, if you could have swore, you'd swear he's a Jedi at the moment, but it's. At the same time, you know he's not. Alexa, I, I know you're scared for them. I know. But they're alive. We'll find a way. We'll get them back. But please, try to... Try to slow down and think about this. Don't just get angry at everyone. All we've been doing is thinking, 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 thinking. One plan after the next. We never stop and face these things. They're innocent. They have nothing to do with this. I don't really have anything to do with this. Why? Why is it? that my father's arm is cut off and not because it's Dell's. That isn't fair. No, it isn't. But... 
What could we have done? I could have not gone. And then what would have happened? Likely we would have found them later in Sis' custody. But then I would have been there. It would have... I could have saved them. I could have protected them. At least I would have been there. Instead of sitting here hoping that Dell is telling me the whole truth and not holding back the horrible bits that he used that caused the situation. I don't believe for a second that there was no warning, that they just combed them out of the blue and chopped my mama's arm off and then said, hey, come surrender. I don't... They're alive. I don't want to hurt Picasso or Del. I just want to find them. I just want to find their family and be done with it. I guess the question is, is this the best way to help them? Dashing off to Thela when we don't know where they are. Someone does. And I'm gonna find them. How will dashing off to Thela help? Do you know how quickly a quarry can go to ground once it's left the cage? It will not take the Sith long to find a way to hide themselves and to hide their prize. And then they'll strike at us again and it'll be worse. But if we go now, we find a way to get there quickly before they have a chance to get off planet or wherever the heck they are, then I can catch them. From what I understand, they're already gone or dead, more exactly. That's what it tells us. I don't know what to say, Alexa. Uh, I wanna... I wanna help. I just... Then help. Don't worry about... Shadow that barely exists, or... These spirits that the sun use, and I'm not interested in helping people, even though it's clear we've done nothing wrong. At least I've done nothing wrong. What you should worry about, what you tried to get your Jedi Council to worry about, other people you can save, people who are suffering because of it, something they don't even understand. This war has proof of it, this shadow thing is a proof of it. 
real people, people who have nothing to do with these conflicts or suffering. And your Jedi have done precious little to protect them. We're trying, Luxa. You, you remember what I said in my speech? Yes, I believe you're one of the good ones, which is why I know you will help me find them. Alright, but think about it. <sighs> you, you, you're, you, you don't seem to believe the threat of the spirits and you think that there's something to find left on Thela. But what if you're wrong? You're risking everything for potentially nothing. Right. Let's say I go. What's the worst thing that will happen? The spirits could destroy you and us, and there'll be no one left to help your family. Then maybe you shouldn't come. But if it's just my life, I don't care if they obliterate me. Be pretty. It'll show that they're no better than the Sith. But they're going to kill someone who's simply coming in to find her family and save them. If you're worried that you'll die alongside me, then fine, stay. I won't hold it against you, either of you. But hope you understand that my life at this point is not my main concern. I could care less what they do to me, as long as they tell me where my family is and gonna find them. You think your family would care what happens to you? Not if they're dead, which is very likely right now. How long has okay. this been? So as you guys are waiting or are standing around talking, you see um, a short woman striding towards you. In a, she's wearing like leather, like brown leather pants and a jacket, and she has like a bright pink bubblegum pink like spiked mohawk, and she's like like five four. She like walks over to the ship. Why, hello there. Who are you? I'm the Scarlet she Hunter. Out her hand. I, I shake it and I say, I'm a Scarlet Hunter and these are friends of mine. I need to talk to you about transportation using your ship. Well, you certainly got tall friends. And she looks at the clown who's like twice her height, basically. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But what's this about transportation? I need a ship to take me to Thela as soon as possible. Yours is the only one in the vicinity. Thela? I don't even know if I've heard of that. What planet is that? What sector is it in? It's a colony planet in the mid-rim. It's currently experiencing some difficulties getting resupplied and having a ship going to and fro. 
was hoping that perhaps I could make a deal with you to get me there and then you could carry some cargo back for them, make a little bit of cash on the way. She, she pauses and she says, and she like scratches her, her head. She says, wait, you want me to carry cargo to them or from them? If you wanted to ride there, I guess we could maybe try to scratch up some cargo to deliver to them if you knew what they're looking for. And you could hitch ride that way, but is that what you meant? No, my friends and I need transportation to the planet. Once you get there, I'm sure they will compensate you for our transportation. They might also need cargo to be carried back here, in which case they will pay you for that as well. Wait, why is the colony planet going to be sending cargo to the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine? There's artifacts on the planet below. Ancient artifacts that the Jedi are interested in. <laughs> yeah, what? The would be very happy about that. Totally. <laughs> okay, make a persuade roll. I'm lying through my teeth. Yeah. Do you want to make this a deception roll? Deception. Yes. Okay. Um. I was, I was like, no. That was pretty high. Is that an at twenty? <laughs> I always roll that when I need it. Like absolutely yeah, it need it. Angry yeah. Lexa is very deceptive. <laughs> yeah. So she, she like looks at you and then she smiles, like widely and says, "Well, I love helping the Jedi out. I'm sure if there are some really cool artifacts I could ship back, that would probably be worth my while. I mean, I normally don't really take people on their word that their destination friends are gonna pay for it." But you guys look like reputable folks, and she looks at Kalani and like notices her lightsabers. So she clearly realizes that Kalani's a Jedi, and she works for the Jedi. So she's like, "Um, let's." I, I guess we could swing for that. Uh, how soon do you guys need to leave? Now. Oh well, that's perfect. We just finished dropping off all of our cargo. Out of character, real quick, I just wanted to point out to Kalani that you know full well the spirits will not be okay. Yeah, um, artifacts be Lexa. Taken. Lexa gives you eyes that are like, doing? don't you dare. Don't you dare mess this up. What are you doing? Well, perfect. We'll make our way inside. If you have a place you'd like us to be, we'll make our home there. Well, most of the ship is meant for cargo holding. If you don't mind camping out in the cargo hold, I really only have personal quarters for me. Nope, not at all. That will do just fine. Okay, well, it seems like you're really in a rush, so I'll go get the ship prepped. If you just follow C2X4, he'll escort you there to the cargo bay. Then she uh, turns to the, the copper droid who came out of the ship when she was approaching. It says, take him to cargo hold B... And then the droid says, Affirmative, mistress. Thank you very kindly. Thank you, Loss. What was that? All right. Promising ancient artifacts to bring back here? What? Wait, can we have a quick timeout? Because I just realized, yeah, what is John doing all during all this? Yeah. Because actually, I'm thinking back. So John wanted someone was telling John that he should talk with Elise to see what she actually was planning on doing about this. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. So we'll say that, that he yeah. stayed behind after Kalani's ceremony to uh, talk with Elise. So yeah, that he makes didn't sense. hear this. He hasn't heard this whole exchange. He's talking oh, with boy. Elise. Okay, continue. Sorry for interrupting the roof. Oh boy. I just need transportation there. We'll worry about paying for that when we get to there. You said you were heroes of the public, right? You're their friends? Shrathila, yes. 
and perhaps you could negotiate something on my behalf. I've never asked you for anything before. I'm asking now for you to trust me. Lass, I trust you. I'll do what I can. Uh, I'll see what uh, what Governor Loveless can do. I know they need supplies. That for certain. For certain. Perhaps a uh, contract with this particular uh, cargo ship will uh, help her out. I give her steady work for a while. But why did you promise? ancient artifacts. I just needed something for her to believe in. Something that she believed that there was cargo waiting. It didn't want to make it sound empty. Anyway, we're wasting time with this discussion. We should go. And I start heading up the ramp. Oh, I thought we were already on the ship. Is, on, like, all the yeah, way to the so cargo hold, but okay. Wait, I missed it. What did, what did you say, Zariana? That I'm going inside the ship. Oh. I thought we were already inside the ship. Yeah, well, during this last exchange, you guys were following the droid to the cargo hold. Okay, so you guys make it on board the ship. This is probably a good spot to stop it for tonight, unless there's anything else anyone wanted to do. The airspeeders are arriving at the, uh, the crashed gullet. Let's try not to even suggest stealing the artifacts from the spirits. We're trying not to get killed by them. Alexa doesn't actually know about that stuff. She just made it up. <laughs> She knows nothing about the, the city or any of that stuff. She just literally made something up on the spot. What about John? I'll send a comm link to tell him to get on the ship, but on the ship. <laughs> so <we> can't <laughs> That's gonna be an interesting conversation. <laughs> He's gonna be like, what now? We're doing what Where's now? Our ship? He's like, what happened and where? What? <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Very urgently tell him what ship to board and that it will be explained when he gets here. Also, out of character, I'm wondering how much ship passage normally would be anyway. How much money are we talking about? Book. It says a chartered space transport is 10,000 credits. Eek. That might be the, the really expensive stuff. Like, first class kind of thing. Not necessarily also. traveling aboard a uh, cargo ship to the uh, back end of, uh, of nowhere. I think that would make it more expensive, especially because you're going from the southern side of the galaxy all the way to the northern side, northeastern what? side. You're going like nearly the full length of the galaxy. Mm, no, we're not. No, Dantooine is. I thought Dantooine was on the south. Dantooine is north. K four. Is it the, the very north? Oh, brain broken. Yeah, it's only six squares away from Thela. Okay, that's not that bad. Still, that's gonna take forever. But, the uh, space travel in this game doesn't actually have anything to do with how many squares you're traveling. Because the hyperspace lanes are apparently all relative, so it's just like a die roll multiplied by the class of your hyperspace. 
no matter where you want to go. <laughs> so the more money you pay, the faster. <laughs> but I will figure out the timing after the end of the session. So is there anything else? Oi. Okay, and with that, I guess we will call it a wrap and say goodnight to the YouTube. All right, thanks for joining in again, guys. Uh, great night again. Uh, John, when you hear this, thanks for joining in, and uh, I hope everything is okay with the emergency. Um, yeah. And uh, thank you all for joining in on YouTube. Uh, whenever y'all get a chance to watch this over there. Uh, y'all have a good night and God bless.